The American character actor Robert House Peters Jr. is best known for his roles in 1950s B-movies and westerns. As Mr. Clean, he is probably best remembered from the Procter & Gamble cleaning product commercials of the era. He passed away from pneumonia at the Motion Picture and Television Fund Hospital in Los Angeles, California, on October 1, 2008. Julie Parrish was born on October 21, 1940, in Middlesboro, Kentucky, USA. She was an actress and director best known for her roles in movies like Mannix, Return to Pain Place, and Paradise, Hawaiian Style. At the age of 62, she passed away in Los Angeles, California, on October 1, 2003. Margaret June Peggy Maley appeared in both film and television during her career. The young woman was crowned Miss Atlantic City in 1942 at the age of 18 or 19. Maley had a brief acting career on television between 1953 and 1960. The first role she played was as Diane Chandler in Ramar of the Jungle. On October 1, 2007, Peggy Maley passed away from a non-communicable disease. As an activist in the environmental movement, Ronald G. Hayes helped establish the first Earth Day on April 22, 1970. As a member of the Sierra Club, he founded Wilderness World and founded the ecological interest group Wilderness World. Hayes died from complications related to a subdural hematoma at the age of 75 after a fall near his Malibu residence. In addition to being a singer and lyricist, Charles Osnabor was also an actor and diplomat. Osnabor was known for his ringing vibrato tenor voice with clear top notes and gravelly low notes. At the age of 94, Osnabor was found dead in his bathtub at home in Maury's on October 1, 2018. According to the autopsy report, Osnabor died of cardiorespiratory arrest complicated by acute pulmonary edema. During her career, Cookson appeared in films, plays, and television shows. The last stage role she played included My Fair Lady in 1988 and A Breath of Spring in 1990 with Peggy Mount and Jack Douglas. She passed away at the age of 92 on October 1, 2011. James Troche was a disabled advocate for the entertainment industry in addition to being an actor and screenwriter. Quadriplegic actors are rare in the entertainment industry, and he was the first quadriplegic to join the Screen Actors Guild. Jim Troche passed away at Burbank's St. Joseph Medical Center on October 1, 